Yes, Greg, those here at the sheriff's office are remaining pretty tight lipped about the lawsuit as to not jeopardize any part of the case. But Sheriff Mike Blakely did post about it on Facebook today, praising his chief deputy and saying, quote, as we go through life, there will be bumps in the road, but God is good and he is the judge that counts. Your viewers, your readers, our communities uh, deserve better than silence or no comment. We must conduct some open dialogue to be able to protect the great relationship that we share with our communities. That was the opening of a news conference held at the Limestone County Sheriff's Office on Wednesday to address the sexual assault and discrimination lawsuit filed by one of their own investigators, Leslie Ramsey. The conference was brief, lasting only a few minutes. The department spokesperson, Stephen Young, didn't go into detail about the case and no questions were taken at the end, Young saying that was due to legal purposes. It's the court's responsibility to sort out and address those details and any attempt on our part uh, to do so here today could compromise that process. I tried reaching out to both the sheriff and the investigator who filed the suit, as well as her lawyer, but never got a response. In the lawsuit, Ramsey accuses Chief Deputy Fred Sloss of sexually assaulting her. The lawsuit claims Sheriff Blakely unfairly reprimanded her and later demoted her. I spoke with several folks in Limestone County and learned what they thought about the lawsuit. Many who didn't want to go on camera said they support the sheriff and chief deputy. Others are on the investigator's side. I think he needs to leave. This is his last uh, uh, sworn in crap. I think he needs to get his old butt out of there and, and, and find somewhere else. The department held the conference on Wednesday to assure the community they have nothing to worry about. Just as the Limestone County Sheriff's Office is committed to serving them uh, with integrity and kindness, uh, we're also equally committed to providing the best workplace environment possible for all our employees. The Sheriff's Office will continue in our steadfast commitment to respectful and equal treatment of everyone within the department and outside it in every way possible. Now, I also reached out to the attorney, attorney General's office to see if the ethics complaint that was filed against Sheriff Mike Blakely back in October was connected to this lawsuit, but they told me they couldn't comment. Reporting live in Limestone County, Scotty Kay, Way 31 News.